Homes by Sangobon. Hello everyone and welcome to Homes. Today we are discovering Sweden and its very cold climate. A climate that forces professionals to adapt in terms of construction. We are listening to Monica von Schmelenzi. She is an architect and the CEO of White Architecture. Sweden is a very long country. The climate is really different if you compare the southern part of Sweden to the northern part. We have harder climate up north than in the southern part of Sweden. In the northern part of Sweden, which is of tradition, of course, you need to have thicker walls and also a better isolation. But the climate has changed over these past, I would say, maybe 10 years rapidly. And the consequences uh, overall, I would say, is that we need the buildings to be more adaptable to the climate. And the, the, the hardest thing, I, I think, is when it gets very, very uh, hot in the summer and very, very uh, cool in the winter time which means that we need to have sort of, uh, the, the buildings need to adapt better. We know that old traditions such as wood, for instance, and with good isolation, is very good for the climate and it also keeps the cold uh, winter out. I think that we need also to go back to a more robust system such as natural ventilation and also to see how you orient different parts of the solution of an let's say an apartment that means that you need to have cooler in the bedrooms than maybe in the living room so we have to face that but also to see that when we as architects design the buildings we need to have different ways of how to use uh, shadows and also to use sort of how we can cool that with kind of water system, but also to make the uh, have natural materials that can adapt better to, to the climate and also to the well-being. I think the biggest challenge for everybody is that we need to see how we can really, when it comes to construction, how we can reuse our materials, how we can reconstruct, how we can rebuild everything because the resources aren't endless. So we need to understand how to, after you know, certain years, how we take these things apart and how we can re reuse them in another way. This is the end of this episode. Thanks to Monica von Schmelenzi for this journey in Sweden. And go to other episodes to better understand the local issues of homes.